Back in the day, slavery was all around in the South, and Master Jefferson was the president. My name is Isaac Granger Jefferson. I am one of three children. My father, Great George, became an overseer after being a foreman of labor on Master Jefferson's plantation in the year 1797. My mother, Ursula, was a pastry cook and a laundress. When I was a young boy, I stayed up on the mountaintop to be near my mama. So I could stay up there, I had to do chores. I was a witness, which scared me, called the revolution when my master, Jefferson, was the governor. Also, I remember vividly about Benedict Arnold's raid on Richmond and the internment camp in New Yorktown. In 1790, I began training in my metal work trades. Master Jefferson then took me to Philadelphia, in which I was an apprentice for a tinsmith to name me a tinsmith as well. I became successful and could make four dozen pepper boxes a day, but then they sent me back to the plantation. There was, little, there was a little tin shop on the plantation where we tinsmiths would make tin cups and graters, but it was not successful. Instead, I, I trained as a blacksmith and my older brother, Little George, was a teacher, so to speak. Around 1794, I became a nailer and worked in the nail making business and the smith's business. The overseer of the plantation was Mr. Bacon. We never, and I mean never, talked back to him. And we were all scared of what he would do to us if we were out of line. Master Jefferson would strictly tell Mr. Bacon not to beat us, but when Master was off the plantation, Mr. Bacon would beat us. It was dirty business, I bet. Master Jefferson was not like the other masters out there. If you did something out of line or talked back to an overseer, he would never be there when the overseer would beat you. But if Master was there, he, there even would be no beating in front of him. If the overseer told Master he had to beat one of his slaves, then he would leave the plantation and not be present for the beating. In my slave community, we were not allowed to go to church and, the, and participate in church acting or anything like that. So what we had to do was sneak into the woods and have our church services held in there. It was very worrying because we didn't know if the overseer would be there watching us. It was kind of creepy if you think about it. Just people watching you your every move while you were in your church service. In 1799 and 1800, both of my parents and my big brother died, which I had attended their burials. Where, Jefferson where, where the Jefferson family was buried was completely different from where any of the slaves were buried at. The Jefferson's gravesite had big graves and they all had their own spots. In the slaves' gravesite, they were lucky to even get a rock as a gravestone. I will be a free man soon.